And then fluently we go to the fast movements of the of the concertos, for example, short notes with staccato and three or four of them or without trill, and then we find one small note. So actually, uh, it's really hard to hear uh, how do you start with the upper note or with the main note. It, it depends also what's easier for you. Sometimes it's even easier or it's kind of tradition to make a, um, a trill with, with ending. So it's a little bit like an ornament. For example, here he writes three notes, Mozart writes three notes with pam pam pam, and the first one with trill. It's very hard to play only the trill. Many of violinists are usually not playing like this. So what I do... And it makes it more, you know, more virtuoso, more brillant. It also follows much better the, this style of music. Another type of trill is when the composer goes from the lower note and there is a big distance. And then we go to the upper note. So it's very dramatic. I think this example is even better at the end of this movement. So here I would attack this trill from the upper note to show it, uh, to show it even more, to, to make it more rubato, more free. Because when you play... It's, it's, I mean, it's very simple. You can do it also, but in my opinion, it's really much more... Again, it builds the dramaturgy of the music. Okay, and... Mm, the last type of the trill I would like to say about is the you know the last note before the before tutti is coming. Here and like here. So these are examples from the first and second movement of of G major violin concerto. Here usually I would do it from the upper note. It's again very important note. We are giving the direction to the whole orchestra. So again, we build a dramaturgy and I think it's really important to, to play it more free. Also here, we go from the upper note, from the melody here, up. It's typical place, place for appoggiatura. So we add one additional note, let's say, to the melody. the trill, uh, the small notes uh, after the trill should be calmer in the, in the slow movement. One more interesting trill here in the third movement in bar number 44, just when the violin starts. Some violinists, I, I've heard that they're playing. Here it's a very short note, I, I prefer to play Just very short, it reminds me a little bit uh, Paganini trills in fast uh, caprices. So these are some ideas, of course, it's a huge team uh, to speak about. There are many theorists, many violinists, uh, they have their tastes, but that's what I think. I always try to follow my intuition, my knowledge, but you know, sometimes you just you change your mind, you hear something better from another musicians. Just try to be open and try to follow your musical idea. It, it should be always together with your feeling of particular piece. Mm. I hope it will help you a little bit. It will give you some inspiration. And, and next time we'll speak about one of the 
cadenzas from the violin concertos by Mozart, the cadenza by Joachim. And until then, remember, stay home with violin. <laughs>